My name is William Fines. I'm an author. I'm co-founder of First Story, the charity behind the UK's National Writing Day. And I want to talk about the 24-7 challenge. In my experience, both as a writer and a teacher of writing, there's little more terrifying than a blank page. There's such a thing as too much possibility and it's natural to freeze up when you're faced with infinite choice. So I found that one of the best ways into writing, if you're just starting, if you're struggling, is to limit your options. You have to take the edge off that terrifying blankness. It's a strange paradox that sometimes limitations can be liberating liberating for the imagination and that enclosure can be a kind of freedom. Of course, the idea of constraint and enclosure is pretty appropriate just now. I've been thinking a lot of some lines by the American poet Richard Wilbur. Limitation makes for power, Wilbur wrote. The strength of the genie comes of his being enclosed in a bottle. Limitation makes for power. The strength of the genie comes of his being enclosed in a bottle. He was talking about the tight shapes of poems, uh, haikus, sonnets, verses, the way um, those little um, boxes give a kind of pressure or power to the thoughts and um, images contained within them. But I've been thinking of those lines in relation to our present circumstances and wondering if there's a way we can find power in our limitations and somehow emerge from them not bedraggled and wizened but enhanced and enlarged like those genies that Wilbur was talking about. So for National Writing Day this year, we're suggesting you try writing something within some very tight but simple constraints. It's called the 24-7 Challenge. 24 words in seven minutes, starting with the words one day. That's it. You just need something to write with, a pen and paper, a pencil and paper, a phone, it doesn't matter. Your 24 words might be a poem, a tiny story, a memory, a thought, a list. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be 24 words. And the great thing is you can't think about them too much because you've only got seven minutes. Just a couple of thoughts before we start. Sometimes people think that to write something powerful and serious They've got to use fancy literary words, lots of adjectives and adverbs and metaphors and all that stuff. But it's not true. Your voice has power. You have a way of seeing the world, an experience of the world that's unique to you. And not just unique to you among everyone alive in the world right now, but unique among everyone who's ever been alive or who will ever be alive. And that's your first great richness as a person and as a writer. Your voice has power. Then lean towards detail. I mean the concrete and the specific rather than the abstract and the general. Start with things you can see, hear, touch, taste, smell and feel. The cliche is that the devil's in the details. The gods are in them too. That's it. Remember that your voice has power and use detail. A nice thing is that when you sit down to start, you don't really know what all that busyness in your head is going to serve up to you. And this is what my head gave me just now when I tried. One day, bikes appeared, salvaged from the river, leaning on the towpath. Who'd gone out at night trawling? We smiled, returned to sunlight, air. So make it yours. 
24 words, 7 minutes, starting with the words one day. And then share it using the hashtag 24-7 challenge. Tag your friends. Spread the word.